Praise be Jesus Christ. News of the reported Eucharistic miracle that happened a few days ago in Guadalajara, Mexico is spreading throughout the Catholic world. This phenomena of our Lord exposed in the Blessed Sacrament begin to palpitate with a light that resembles very much the, the, the palpitations of a heart. Uh, these videos have gone viral and, uh, and many people are coming up with their interpretation of what this might mean, why the Lord is giving us this sign now. And even I've fallen into this. Last night I was sharing with the youth group about this reported Eucharistic miracle. And I said, it's probably because the world has gone completely bonkers. And the Lord is trying to get us our, get our attention. He wants us to know He's real. Uh, but we, again, we have to be careful. Everyone can come up with their own interpretation. And ultimately, it's uh, the, the bishop, the local bishop, who has the authority after proper investigation to, to offer some recognition or confirmation um, of, of this phenomenon, of this miracle, and to offer also an authoritative interpretation based on you know, interviewing people of what the Lord might be trying to tell us through this. But until... You know the bishop does you know this this type of investigation i would say the authority um, is with the priest who was preaching the gospel proclaiming the kingdom of god at the time of this eucharistic miracle and that's father carlos span who by the way everyone is speaking very highly of him he seems to be highly respected in a catholic news agency article it says father carlos span is the founder and superior of the religious family of the Immaculate Heart and Divine Mercy. And he, he seems to be doing itinerant preaching right now, going from place to place, preaching the gospel and seeing a lot of conversion. So ministering in the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, he offers an interpretation. And I want to just highlight everything I've read from him. He seems to be a very wise, prudent and, and humble person with this whole matter. He says, for example, in the article, it says, Father Span says, perhaps the church will never make an official judgment because it doesn't uh, need one. And he, he also says, I'm not saying it's a miracle officially because I don't have the authorization to do so. And so you see this, this, this wise, humble prudence. But he does offer an interpretation. The article says, Father Span said that as a personal interpretation, he sees in what happened the heart of Christ which beats with love for men. And to me, this is the most obvious thing that the Lord, you could say, is screaming. You know, he's, 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 he's pleading with us to recognize that he loves us so much. His heart is beating with love for every one of his children. The article goes on to say, um, this heart, Father Spahn lamented, is so outraged, so abandoned, so despised, that sometimes we don't treat it as we should, with great care, with more faith, with more dedication. This is what Father Spahn says in response to this, this phenomena that you know, seems to have occurred um, during his proclamation of the kingdom of God, bringing people to the Lord Jesus. And I would say, if we're going to speak about this reported Eucharistic miracle, um, this is what we should be quoting, you know, Father Spahn's interpretation. Because in the moment of grace, I think the Holy Spirit wants us to know you know, what, what the Lord is trying to tell us. And we see this in Scripture. For example, you're familiar with the story in Luke chapter 1. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Viva Cristo Rey.